What's your problem? No. Wait, 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 wait. Cover yourself. Cover yourself. I'll pray for you. He's very sick, so when you are sick, you have got something here that grew like that. Here. That's why you can't walk. Let me see how you walk. Who came with him? You came with him. Come. He can't walk. No. Eh? no. It started yesterday, but he's had the problem for a while. But yesterday he couldn't stand up. He could not stand up? No. So he started when? It's been coming, coming, but yesterday his wife phoned me and said that he sat, but he can't stand up after he's been sitting down the whole Brother, day. Brother, are you not HIV positive? No. You tested HIV? Yes, many times I've got four Many kids. times? Yeah. You find that you don't have HIV? Yes. So you can't walk? Yeah, I can, but I'm forced to work. Let me see how you force working. You walk like this. But I used to walk properly. So yes. I'll pray for you. Ne? Amen. We'll stop this thing today. Amen. You'll walk properly. You'll walk properly. Amen. Brother, you are free. Walk, walk, walk. You are free. My brother, come, come. Come here. You are running away. How do you see him? Huh? He's walking. He's walking. Yeah. Huh? He's, He's crying, this brother. He loves him. What happened to you? I don't know. It started on its own. You don't know? Yeah. Let me pray for you again. Uh, you are free, my brother. Can you just turn? Brother, turn. Let's see how you walk now. You are healed completely. Ah, uh, praise the living God. Ah, 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 ah. Can you walk? Walk faster. Walk faster. Walk faster. Ah. Uh, So, how did you come here? I came with my pastor. They carry you? Yes. How did you carry him? I jumped it in the Like bike. this? Yes. Explain, my brother. Now we're helping him a little bit, little bit, me and his wife. But he's Where is the wife? She's at home in Limpopo. Uh, this brother, come, you walk together, you will see... Uh, he can walk with you without can walk together now. Walk, talk, walk with him. Ah, uh, uh, God is good, though. Brother, can you press that thing? Press that thing, brother. Do you feel pain? Do you feel pain now? A little bit, yeah, yeah, but not so. 
I couldn't press it as high. You could not press it there. Yes. Eh? Yes, but the pain is still there, but not uh, so bad. But you could not press it. Yeah. Walk faster than there. The healing. Run, run, brother, run. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's long he was working like this, but he's healed. You see, he's healed. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching Charis TV. Here with Mammoth, one of the people who came here in Charis Mission Art Church to encounter have, the power of God see, upon guys, their lives. I and they'll be introducing themselves to us. Uh, Say, so can you please tell us them. your name and tell us where you come from? You, the one My you pray for. The one, the, the one from Evan Sunich, I come from the Pope. Uh, Say, so can you please sleeping, tell me what are the obstacles, challenges here. that you were coming across in life that made you, you to be here? You will know you are blessed. I had this crowd are you on ready for my that? Part, uh, so which, uh, please I've close there. Today. Close there. I'm not happy. Uh, so, Say, so what motivated dealing. you to bring him to Charis Mission Some Church? Some of you, now, you are, things are not going um, well. I have been watching Charis so on YouTube and I see the apostle is extremely so anointed for healing and deliverance. So, when my brother contacted me and they can uh, be finished revealed to me the problem you. that he was having about Let's the check. pain that he was having. I decided we that we should you. just Please quickly don't talk get with some me. pain pills and climb in the you. car and definitely go to Charis Missionary Church for our anybody. healing. I want to pray for you. you didn't because only bring I'm, him, I'm but also you God touched you. The man of God prayed for you. And when the man of God was declaring a prophetic anointing to prophets, you were also touched by God. Let's start with your experience. How was it being in Charis Missionary Church? And how was it being touched by God? Um, I've been waiting, be waiting for a breakthrough right, in the spirit for a few months now. Uh, wait, wait, wait. And I believe that I have received a, an increase in the prophetic over my life. I haven't been touched that uh, severely as I have been touched by the Lord on, with a prophetic anointing uh, as I was touched here today in, in Cherries. How are you feeling right now after I believe that God has answered your prayer post? As a, a pastor, you wanted an impartation from the man of God and God has done it for you today. How are you feeling about that? I feel so excited because I know when I go back home to the church that um, I will be able to minister and help people that are needing help and deliverance and direction. Say, so let's come to your situation. You came here, you didn't know how to walk, but Jesus used the man of God to touch you and heal you. How are you feeling about that? And before you can tell us the experience when the man of God prayed for you, can you please tell me, how were you feeling? Were you feeling a crucial pain? What are the things that you couldn't do because of this situation? I was feeling very depressed uh, to the point that I was thinking to give up in life because I couldn't make it uh, with the pain uh, the whole night without sleeping. And yeah, th th there were spirits talking to me like, no, you won't make it, just give up, let it go. You, you don't get help from doctors, you don't get, get help from church. Especially when I came here, I tried to pass to the front. The ushers also are stopping me, are pushing me back. I started to gain, to be more nervous because when I wanted to help and the usher is pushing me back, say, go back, stand back. It was very disappointing. And then I, I came to a point of memorizing a scripture that uh, uh, Bartimaeus was screaming for help, was screaming for Jesus to help him, but people were stopping him, stop, 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 and it's what was happening in here today, so I was very upset, to be honest, I wasn't in my real spirit, I picked up a little bit of disappointment there, and then, and then I went, I came back in my senses, I said, no, I'm a child of God, I must humble myself, they are doing their job, and, and I must be humble, and men of God will pray for me. In all these obstacles that you came through before you received your deliverance, how are you feeling right now since, well, God remembered you and heard you even though you, you were feeling down? I'm feeling very blessed. I'm feeling blessed, and yeah, that's all I can say. I'm feeling blessed, yeah. And are you still feeling the pain? 
No, the pain is gone, but just the heat uh, there, and, uh, the pain is gone. Say there are thousands and thousands of viewers out there who are facing the very same situation that you're facing. As you said that you were starting to lose hope because some, they will tell you that you won't make it. God won't heal you. It is just over. Today, God has remembered you. And indeed, as he said that by his stripes, we are healed. Indeed, you received your healing. What can you say to them? I can say God is out there. Never give up in life. Search for him, seek as hard as you can his face, and he will help you in his right time. It's never too late for God. It can take him four days while you are buried, but it's never too late. You, you will still make it. After all, he is God. Say, there are thousands, I mean thousands, thousands of pastors all over the world, and they want to come to Charis Missionary Church and encounter the power of God upon their lives, but some they're afraid of coming out because they will say, what would my congregate say? What would people say as a man of God going to another man of seeking for help and saying, I'm having this situation and I need help from God. I believe that for you to be here, God had to break your pride, had to humble you to come to the man of God and say, I need impartation. I need you to touch me. What can you say to them as you are here today? Um, it's been a while that um, I've been trying to get here, but there were a lot of things hindering me. But when I put my mind to it and, and prayed and asked the Lord to find a way that I could come here, uh, I see that he brought it about and he has done more than I ever expected in this church. Uh, I received impartation. My brother received his healing. I believe completely that it was worth the wait, even though that I know that there are demonic principalities and powers against you to come here. Thoughts in your head that say, no, this is not for me. This is a, a different ministry or so forth. Um, I was touched here that I know that it, it's the power of God on a different level. I believe it's a level of deliverance and uh, prophetic. Amen. Say, we thank you so much for coming here in Charis Missionary Church. I believe that as you are here, whatever you want, God has given you through the man of God. And as our Father said that by his stripes, we are healed. I believe that your healing is permanent and we shall surely come back to testify that indeed you are totally healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you and stay blessed.